The new school year is right around the corner and the pressure is on teachers and school administrators to make sure everything is ready to go on Monday morning. And there have been some issues at some of our year round schools this summer. Elaine Athens live now at Southeast Raleigh High where the kids have missed out on a couple of days in the classrooms because of HVAC issues. Elena. Yeah, Wake says HVAC problems have impacted about 40 schools this summer. Another district is facing a different issue. As some parents savor or count down the last few days before the start of the new school year, there are concerns if schools are ready to welcome back students. The brand new $90 million Northern High School in Durham is pushing back the first day of school to Thursday. There were construction delays and teachers need more time to prep classrooms. In Wake County, some HVAC units have struggled to handle the brutal hot weather. With the heat, you know, it's, it's a danger. You can't learn when it's too hot, right? There's no no retention, and I feel bad for the teachers that would have to sit through a class of 20 students. Wake County Interim to Superintendent Dr. Randy Bridges is acknowledging there have been AC problems this summer. He says it's been hard getting in parts, and there's not enough bodies to help maintain 200 facilities, 500 boilers, 300 chillers, and 5,700 various parts. We're down about seven positions there, so we've had to fight and put those fires out as we could, uh, but as a result, some of our schools have missed early releases uh, this summer. Southeast Raleigh High School was forced to close twice this week because of AC issues, and this parent says it's not the first time. Always, yes. Nikki Woods's four oldest kids graduated from Southeast, but one of the reasons she transferred her youngest out of the school are the ongoing problems. He's at Garner Magnet, and we're very happy. So Wake's interim superintendent is hopeful that things will run well next week as we do have some slightly cooler weather on tap versus today. We're live in Raleigh, Elaine Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Mm, yeah, it's another uh, development in the staffing issues we've seen. They're having trouble with bus drivers, uh, teachers, and, and maintenance people as well. It's a real problem uh, for so many of our school systems. Elena, thank you.